Lloyd Kelly's come up from the back. Zabani's floating around on the edge of the box as well. It's going to be Tavernier over the wall and off the angle from Marcus Tavernier. Well, you'd say the angle was against the left footer from that side, but he got it up and over the wall and back off the angle to the left-hand side. On the halfway line, Solanke continues the run. Luton stretched here. In comes to Clivert just outside the penalty here. Justin Clivert shoots and they've hit the post again. This time the outside of the post. Same post. Clivert this time striking the woodwork. Here's Tavernier into the penalty here with a daisy cutter. Marcus Tavernier hit the woodwork earlier on. Not to be denied this time. His first Premier League goal since November. And immediately after, Luton forced a save from Neto. Bournemouth sweep down the other end and break the deadlock themselves. Now Clark out to the right-hand side for Luton here in the Bournemouth penalty here. Morris trying to get on his left foot. He does get on his left foot. Now Luton have hit the post and the rebound is blocked by Zabani. Out to this near side. It's the same post that's now been hit three times in the game. Ball is with Clark over on the left-hand side for Luton who are continuing to press forward here. He tried to go between three blue shirts. The challenge from Kelly. It runs loose in the box and there is the equaliser from Jordan Clark. On the edge of the penalty area. And Luton have belief again. First time finish from the Luton midfielder who rifled it into the bottom right-hand corner. Now it's with Doughty. Wide left it goes to Woodrow. Left side of the penalty area for the Hatters here. In it comes to the box where Morris has gone in. The flag stays down. Carlton Morris has maybe won it late for Luton again. As they did the last time Bournemouth came here. The Luton captain inside the six-yard box makes it Luton 2, Bournemouth 1.